my final topic is a snow cooker is processed food. Mm -hmm. uh, this is my brief structure. Uh, first, I will explain processed food and secondly, the reason why the reason why processed food makes you sick and fat. Mm -hmm. And lastly, I will suggest a solution. Uh, solution or has to be how how we can eat processed food. Uh, most sharp out most sharp out food is is will be will have been processed in some way. Uh, this is common examples of examples of processed food. The breakfast years and cheese and tinned vegetables is can canned vegetables mm -hmm. and bread and snacks and meat um, meat products baked like bacon and convenience food which we can easily see in convenience food mm -hmm. like uh, tandak kimbap or mm -hmm. three minutes curry mm -hmm. and drinks and milk and soda drinks and so and so. Uh, in, in this present industry, uh, we can easily see these, these processed food in, store, in the store and we, every day we eat these things. So processed food is any food that has been altered from its natural state in some way for safety reasons or convenience. Uh, there are processing techniques include freezing, canning, baking, drying, and so on. So this technology develops and people prefer convenient and fast food. The processed food is really all around us. So we may be eating more processed foods than we realize. So we also know these, these foods are not, are not healthy for our body. But but not all processed food is a bad, bad choice. Uh, some some food need processing. Processing uh, at first, uh, milk like milk milk need processing because uh, because of safety. Uh, milk milk processed because uh, harmful to to remove harmful bacteria and mm -hmm. other food other food processed or make them suitable for use, like pressing seeds to make oil. However, the chemically processed food is really unhealthy. Uh, this is bad for our health. So chemically processed food made from refined ingredients and artificial substances, such as artificial uh, flavors and color, and pre preservatives. Uh, so this is an um, example of chemically processed food like junk food and fast food, ramen and snacks and red meats like sushi and bacon. Mm -hmm. So chemically processed food have mainly contain sugar and salt and fat and these three combination of salt and sugar fat is really bad, bad. So this is main reason today's uh, people around us are getting sick and fat. So I choose not common, but there's quite surprising two, re two reasons why processed food make you sick and fat. At first, uh, processed food are originally designed to make you overeat. Um, the processed food are so rewarding, so they affect our brain, brain, so them, so brain and make our thought and behavior to eat more and more. Uh, because, as I said prior, the combination of sugar and salt and fat is really rewarding. So when they, when we eat this. This combination, our brain, our brain is overexcited. So we can, our brain can't listen, can't hear the signals like 
uh, I'm I'm full. I I have to stop eating. So this make us this make us overeat and to be addicted to processed food. So hyper food foods uh, stimulate weird response in our brain. So our brain will will be overwhelmed by tendency for sugary and salty fatty flavors. And secondly, uh, it requires less energy and time to digest processed food. Uh, food manufacturers want their processed food to be sold in the store for a long time and consumed easily for consumers. So they they take out fibers in ingredients and refining repeatedly, they make food more easy to chew and swallow. For example, uh, this, this processed food like donuts and bread is really easy to eat and they are also they sweet so we can we can uh, we can eat this really fast faster than unprocessed food whole food like sweet potato. So when we eat uh, a whole whole food we have to chew slowly and repeatedly and also uh, this like a uh, pro process food like sausage is is more easy to chew and swallow than than chicken chicken breast. So, uh, so uh, by by repeatedly chewing and eating slowly, we 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 can burn more calories, we burn more calories, and also. Uh, after eating processed processed food, we we feel hungry more earlier than whole food. And study studies tells that uh, unprocessed uh, people who ate unprocessed and whole food uh, take um, burn more calories than people who eat processed food. So this is main reason why obese people. Obese people who eat processed food are really fat and not healthy. So, however, in this 21th, 21th century, uh, it is impossible to not avoid all of processed food. So, uh, this is we only have to, to read nutrition lab labels before we buying before buying materials. Uh, nutrition labels contain energy, uh, calorie, and fat, and carbohydrate, sugars, protein, and fat per 100 gram or or portion of the food. So be, I recommend you to before. Uh, consider about calorie, we should consider sugar, salt, and fat. And the question is, how, how, how do I know if a processed food is high in fat and saturated fat and sugar or salt? Uh, this is a standard table which, which show high or low degree. Uh, I uh, we apply these tables to um, for example like we usually eat cereal corn frost and the uh, uh, we have to three three times multiply to three three thirty gram because the standard table is is one hundred gram. Mm -hmm. And in compressed cereal, uh, there are really really high sugar and and salt because uh, in just thirty gram sugar is one ten ten gram. So when we multiply three times, it it has thirty grams. But uh, sugar is really high. Per, so as you can as you can realize. Uh, the compress contain really high sugar and also salt is uh, one point one point six gram six gram in thirty gram but salt is really high de 
basically mm -hmm. even just 1.5 gram in 100 grams so compost contain really high sugar and that however but however the fat and saturated fat is really low mm -hmm. so before uh, before buying processed food by reading nutrition labels and considering more and more that not ca before calories but before calorie mainly mainly fat and sugar set we can make healthy choice even between processed food. This is the end of my presentation.